I received from the Lord what I handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is to you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice that the sons have made. This chalice is the new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim the death of the Lord for it till the time comes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Nice to see you all this morning. Today's Mass has been offered for Antonio Mindiola. As we come to pray, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Antonio Mindinola. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift you faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way and not according to the tradition they receive from us. For you know how one must imitate us. For we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, Night and day we work, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right. Rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you, so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unable to work, neither should that one eat. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times. And in every way, the Lord be with all of you. This greeting is in my own hand, Paul's. This is the sign in every letter. This is how I write. The grace of my Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. I to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favor. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, 
but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in their days, in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of Matthew has seven woes against the scribes and the Pharisees. And he calls them whitewashed tombs. Whitewash was made up of lime and it was a disinfectant and it was nice and bright. And he would alert anyone that, that you know, that, that uh, you couldn't touch it. It would keep you away. So it, it uh, was lovely to look at. And that was a good description for the scribes and the Pharisees because they paid lip service to religion, but their hearts were not in it. And Jesus was all about the heart. Jesus wants to be king of our hearts. He wants to be number one in our hearts. And by the time Matthew was writing his gospel, the Sanhedrin, scribes and the Pharisees, they had started the persecution of the church and they did not accept Jesus even after the resurrection. So Matthew is very much against these leaders because they're fake. If they were genuine, they would have been open to accepting Jesus Christ. So it's important that as human beings, we, we never give God lip service because you cannot fool God. God knows us better than we know ourselves. God knows what's in our hearts and God wants us to give our hearts to him. We can't be like the hypocrites, the scribes and the Pharisees. We have to be genuine and Jesus has to be number one in our hearts. Let us pray. Let us pray for Antonio Mindiola, for whom the Mass has been offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So many people need special prayers. Pat Quavers had a 15 hour surgery yesterday for cancer. We pray for Pat and his family. Also, Gail Weemers is having surgery today for her shoulder. She had a fall. Uh, and uh, um, Jeanette's son is on his way to MD Anderson for treatment for cancer. And of course, we pray for Anne's husband, Jerry. May he make a full recovery. And for Becky Ross as she battles cancer. For all those who have asked for special prayers and need God's help at this time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So many people are dealing with the coronavirus. So many people have survived it, thank God. We pray that they'll find a cure for this coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And I hope and pray that the effort they're putting into the coronavirus, that they'll put the same effort into finding a cure for cancer, Parkinson's, kidney disease, Crohn's disease, Alzheimer's, and other catastrophic illnesses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God to protect us from hurricanes and for God to keep us safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank God for this day and all its opportunities. May we do our best this day to keep God in our hearts, to keep love in our hearts, and share it with others through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and to raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation, and having filled her with life by the power of your Spirit, you never cease to heart to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom, and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly in earth, while with all the church, as one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 as this broken bread was once scattered on the mountains, and after it being brought together, became one, so may thy church be gathered together from the ends of the earth into thy kingdom, for thine is the glory and the power through Jesus Christ forever. And let none eat or drink of the Eucharist, but such as have been baptized in the name of the Lord. On the Lord's day gather together, break bread and give thanks after confessing your transgressions, so that your sacrifice may be pure. May no one who has a quarrel with his neighbor join you until he is reconciled by the Lord. In every place and time, let there be offered to me a clean sacrifice, for I am a great king, says the Lord. You are indeed holy and be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when his once for his disciples are now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until we come up again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and granted by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church, which is in most holy trinity, past Christian, by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you 
through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. and informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. All the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take the of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my way, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for ten. folks. Um, that's Thessalonians in the first reading apparently uh, were listening to some false teachings uh, even someone maybe who uh, falsified a signature from, from Paul saying that he was telling them things that were incorrect um, and he comes out and he just says straight up hey if, uh, if these guys aren't doing the right thing shut them that's, that's pretty tough. Uh, he said you should follow the tradition that that I set, Paul, or that we set. And of course, the, the most telling, anyone who is unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. That's not a condemnation of socialism. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so, um, and and the, the reason I think a lot of these guys were unwilling or some of them were, is because they thought Jesus is coming this afternoon. You know, there's no sense in doing anything else. We, we're just going to kick back because he's coming. We're not going to get married. We're not going to go to work. We're going to sit back here. And uh, Paul said, hey, I never said that. <clears throat> he's, he's coming. But uh, you, need to, you need to continue on until he does. You know, kind of like we are today. 
And another, in, even in the uh, responsorial psalm, the kind of the key phrase is, uh, you know, it's of course the fear of the Lord, uh, or the respect of our Lord, the love of our Lord. Um, it says, for, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. He doesn't say you shall eat the fruit of your neighbor's handiwork. He says you should eat the fruit of your handiwork. So when you when God's talking to us, he's telling us, you got to contribute something. And if you're not going to contribute something, uh, you can't just kick back and say, well, I'm done. I, I, I uh, said some words one day and said, hey, uh, whatever you say when you're saved as the, as the Baptists call it, and you're done. Well, you're not. You have to participate. Um, and then uh, Jesus was kind of giving it to the scribes and Pharisees again. Of course, justifiably so. Because they put these huge burdens on everybody. And, and, uh, and they do nothing to help them. And then, even worse than that, he's given them all the evidence that they need. They know the scriptures. He gives it to them by scripture and tells them, here it is. Here I am. And here's why it's me. And instead of saying, hey, that's great, they're jealous. <laughs> because the people are believing him and following him, and they're making, them, making the Pharisees feel like they're inadequate, which they were. Uh, so, you know, give, great, give, uh, give glory to God. Follow the scriptures. And, uh, and today, uh, again, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's got to be tough to be a cardinal, a bishop, a pope priest because the expectation from Jesus is very high and very severe. And those are my thoughts today. Thank you. I just would like to say though that's why the Pharisees got in trouble because they thought it was everybody else's job. So it's everybody's job, not not just the not just the priests or the bishops. I was thinking of whitewashed tombs, you know. Yeah. I have a thing about men dyeing their hair. You know, I think it's fine for women to color their hair, but for men to color their, their hair. Uh, it rem I, I, I'm amazed when I see so many bishops and cardinals with their hair colored. It reminds me of the whitewashed tombs, okay. <laughs> Got a cute email here. As secretaries go on to her lunch break, when she notices her clueless boss standing in front of the paper shredder, the secretary walks and asks if he needs help. Yes, please, says the boss. This is very important. Glad to help, says the secretary, as she turns on the shredder and inserts the paper. Gee, thanks, says the boss. I only needed one copy. <laughs> Anyone get the joke? <laughs> the Lord be with you. <laughs> and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, with the hearts of your faith, and the kindness of our love. Sing for the Holy Spirit, and we shall be free. And we shall be free this year. Let us pray, O God, by the light of the Holy Spirit. Destruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant that by the same Holy Spirit, we may be free of our Hey, this is Father Paddy, and I wanted to let you know you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and be notified anytime we put up a new video. Click on the subscription button and the little bell, and you will be notified that a new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching. Amen. Hallelujah.